Hello. I'm Deaconess London with your Bread of Wisdom for today. And the text will be taken from Psalm 133, verses 1 to 3. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments as the Jew of Hermon, and as the Jew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. The meaning of unity. Unity is being together or at one with someone or something. The biblical meaning of unity. Unity is oneness of purpose, not sameness of persons. In the Psalms, we have been told how good and how pleasant it is for a brethren to dwell together in unity. Unity glorifies God and is for our betterment as individuals and as a body. God is what it ought to be because it is of God. Unity is of God. Pleasant is what we want it to be. We want to be able to enjoy it. What is good is what God requires. What is pleasant is what we rejoice in. What is good is our duty, but sometimes it can seem laborious to us. What is pleasant is our delight. When God chastens us, it is good for us, but not necessarily pleasant. Unity is good, but it is also pleasant. Unity in the church has different aspects. One, theological, seeing God in the same way and not having contradictory views of God. Spiritual, all our desires are to follow hard after God. Our hearts are joined together in prayer and praises to our God. Financial, we are faithful in giving our tithes and offering to God. Sexual, husbands and wives, unified in their faithfulness to each other. This is how God sees and what he calls unity. It is because of this unity is equalized to the precious ointment that is full of fragrance, that is poured out on all who is endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, James 4.3. When this is accomplished in the church, the Lord will command his blessings, even life forevermore. Do you know what will convince the world who Jesus is? The unity of the church the fragrance that will come out of every believer is necessary for the advancement of the gospel. I implore you today, let us cry out to God in the season we are in to help us to have the mind of Christ and to live in unity one with another and let the fragrance of that unity make the church a place that others will want to come and serve the true and living God. God bless you.